dear students our today's topic is lcao approach of formation of molecular orbital what is lcao approach lcao means linear combination of atomic orbital how h2 molecule is formed by the combination of two atom two atom means one hydrogen atom plus another hydrogen atom where the orbital of first hydrogen atom the atomic orbital of first hydrogen atom and the atomic orbital of second hydrogen atom they are combining to form molecular orbital that's the case of mo theory we know that when two atoms combine to form molecule the atomic orbital in atom combined to form molecular orbital the atomic orbital of this hydrogen that is oneness and the atomic orbital of this hydrogen that is also oneness will combine to form two molecular orbital so two atomic orbitals are combining so two molecular orbitals are formed that is sigma oneness and sigma star oneness in lcao approach that is linear combination of atomic orbital each atomic orbital they are considering as a wave a wave means there is a crust and a trough so they are considering an atomic orbital as a wave with a crust and a trough and it is we know that it is a probability diagram it is a probability diagram means the probability to find the electronic charge or electron it is a probability probability is increasing then decreasing then it is a node this point is a node node means there is no possibility of finding electron then again increasing again decreasing that's the case negative is not a problem then we can discuss how a bonding molecular orbital is formed that is bmo how a bmo is formed so bmo is formed by the constructive interference of this atomic orbitals here we can take this is the psi a psi a means that is the atomic orbital of first hydrogen atom we know that two hydrogen atoms are there that is ha and hb psi a means psi a is the atomic orbital of hydrogen that we are represented in terms of a wave a wave having a crust and a trough and this one is psi b psi b means that is the atomic orbital of b hyd second hydrogen that is hb represented as a wave that is psi b and here it is the formation of bmo means that is constructive interference this these two waves are uh, going to construct the interference is a constructive way of interference we know that constructive interference and destructive interference uh, we have uh, studied in a physics class so what happened in constructive interference in constructive interference the amplitude is increasing so it's a construction it's a addition so this wave and this wave is adding so the same side crust crust same side trough trough same side so a construction so probability is increasing so bmo so this is a bmo this is a representation of bmo and formation of abmo how the formation of abmo abmo means we know that anti bonding molecular orbital and anti bonding molecular orbital is formed by the destructive interference that's a destructive interference means psi a psi a that is the atomic orbital of first hydrogen atom represented as a wave and the psi b psi b is the atomic orbital of second hydrogen atom that is d hydrogen atom represented as a wave and here it is destructive interference destructive if it's destructive interference it is psi a minus psi b in the case of constructive interference for formation of bmo it was psi a plus psi b and here in the case of formation of abmo that is destructive interference that is psi a minus psi b here what is the difference here what is parallel the crust and trough they are combining here also crust trough and the crust the trough of this atomic orbital and the crust of this atomic orbital combining what happens they are cancelling each other they are cancelling each other means the probability is cancelling probability is cancelling uh, that is a case of destructive interference constructive interference always makes the probability to find an electron and destructive interference always makes a node or nodal plane 
here we can discuss the shape of each molecular orbital first of all sigma 1s sigma 2s or sigma ns generally sigma ns so here it is the shape of uh, sigma 1s or sigma ns generally it's a shape there is no such a nodal planes so here it is a constructive interference that is i a plus i b that is the first atomic orbital atomic orbital of first atom that is 1s and the atomic orbital of another atom atomic orbital of a and atomic orbital of b they are combining in a constructive way to form sigma 1s or sigma ns there is no nodal planes second one is sigma star 1s sigma star 2s or generally sigma star ns so here the formation is a destructive way there is a 1s atomic orbital of first atom and 1s atomic orbital of second atom there is b that is a and b they are combining in a destructive way destructive way that means the plus and minus they are combining so opposite sign combination means destructive interference a crest means positive and a trough means negative so crest plus crest is always constructive interference and trough plus trough is a constructive interference but the crest plus trough is destructive interference so here it is destructive interference and destructive interference leads to the formation of what a nodal plane so next we can discuss sigma 2pz or sigma 3pz or generally sigma npz so here it's a constructive way of overlapping that's the plus and plus they are combining plus and plus they are combining means plus means crust and minus means trough so crust and crust overlapping that is a constructive interference and it's a shape of sigma np set np set that can be 2p set or 3p set and there is no such nodal planes the number of nodal plane is zero next one is sigma star 2p set sigma star 3p set or generally sigma star np set so word here the combination is a destructive way that's the plus of this atomic orbital and minus of this atomic orbital is combining plus means that's crust and minus means trough so opposite sign combination means destructive interference and that will develop nodal plane so there's a formation of nodal plane and it's the shape of sigma star 2pz 3pz or generally npz and the number of nodal plane is 1 next we can discuss about pi 2px or pi 2py so we know that we can represent pi 2px and pi 2py in a similar manner both are having different orientation one is having in a x axis orientation and another one is in a y axis orientation but but we can take both the same in a general way so we are discussing here this a 2px atomic orbital and another 2px atomic orbital for example so this two to px atomic orbital they are combining in which manner in a constructive indifference manner because the plus sign and the plus sign they are overlapping and the minus sign and the minus sign they are overlapping plus sign means crust crust plus plus, plus overlapping and the trough and the trough they are overlapping that is a constructive way of overlapping but here in the case of p orbital the case of p orbital there is already there is a nodal point it's a nodal point already it's a nodal point it's a nodal point so in this combination in this combination you can see you can see there already a nodal plane existing because in this plane in this plane there is no such a probability to find electron so it is a case there is already there is a nodal plane that is why the shape of this pi np x or y that is pi pi 2 p x or pi 2 p y so in this shape there is already there is a nodal plane that is why it's a shape of pi n p x or y is like this next one is pi star 2 p x or pi star 2 p y or generally pi star n p x or y so here it is a destructive way of overlapping so plus and minus overlapping minus and plus overlapping there is a destructive overlapping so here so plus and minus overlapping 
So plus and minus overlapping leads to the formation of what? Nodal planes. Already there is a nodal plane already existing. That is the first nodal plane like this. And second nodal plane is formed in this way by this destructive way of combination. So here, what is the number of nodal plane in this case? It is 1. In the case of pi n p x or y, the number of nodal plane is 1. And in the case of pi star n p x or y, the number of nodal plane is 2. It's a very simple case, but it is a sure question in the case of J main or J advance and neat examination. It is a very common question. We can easily find the answer. It's very simple. Another time consuming question.